Get up, get up, get up. No time to rest to run for cover. Get up, get up, get up. Before the road pulls you under. Sleeping on embers, breathing in rivers. Waking up, shivering on summer's hottest night. So crusted sweat dries, dust deep in white lines. Dreaming that you'll find it in the nick of time. Get up, get up No time to rest to run for cover Get up, get up, get up Before the road pulls you under Knock the breath out of your madness Burn your photographs at the edges Send your heart back from where you left it Took a long way to come here Got a long way to go Climbing up switchbacks, walking through tall grass Color matches on summer's hottest night Charred bark and dusty ash Burned out two years back Dreaming that you will find it In the nick of time Knock the breath out of your madness Burn your photographs at the edges Send your heart back from where you left it Took a long Get up, get up, get up No time to rest to run for cover Get up, get up, get up Before the road pulls you under Get up, get up, get up No time to rest to run for cover Get up, get up, get up What inspired some of the songs on this album, in particular the ones that you played for us today? Well, I'm not just saying this because it's acoustic guitar, but uh, <laughs> this guitar inspired a lot of those songs. It felt like co-writes. I uh, got this guitar around the time that the producer, Jeff Bocall, mm -hmm. signed up and the band was um, booked. And so I had this beautiful moment when I found my match in my guitar and I had this dream band lined up in the future for a session. And so I was writing so much. Um, so a lot of songs I think poured out of this guy. Wow, so you got this a few years ago, right? In yeah. Boston. Mm -hmm. And how long were you looking for this guitar and what were you looking for? Um, I was actually looking for a new guitar. Mm. I tend to use a lot of capo positions when I'm writing songs and I, I move around keys a lot with a capo. Um, and the guitar player I had I was working with at the time said, you should probably not get an old one. You're going to be fiddling with it all the time, tuning all the time. Mm -hmm. You're not going to like that. And so I was really looking for probably J45 or um, some, some Gibsons I'd played I really liked, but um, went into Music Emporium on a tip from a friend and couldn't put this guitar down. Put show to and everyone. Yeah, bring this up. This is from the 30s, right? And it's a yep, recording from the king? the 30s, recording king. Got a big old baseball bat v-neck. Um, <laughs> and I, I just started playing it and loved it. I had a really dead strings on at the time, which I kept as long as I could. I like dead strings. And... Yeah, I just played every song I'd written already mm -hmm. on the guitar in the store until they asked me to stop playing. <laughs> They're like, please buy it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then I wrote a bunch more with it. So 
What was the sound you were looking for? Like, what clicked about this one for you? Um, well, I, I don't know why, but uh, some of the older J45s, I guess, I'd played um, were male singers, um, guitars, and they sounded great with those guys. I loved playing them, but when I sang with them, we, we, didn't, we didn't mesh too well. This guitar seems to have a sweet spot right where my vocal range is, and I love the darker, woody, dusty tones it has. And so that was, it was right. Which, uh, which songs did you songs. write on this? That, did we hear um, any? Everything on that record, except for Southern Man, which is an older tune. And yeah, I, I think everything on that record. Oh, and except for the Neil Young song. What prompted you to include a Neil Young song on there? Do you always want to record it? I, no, actually, I love that song. Um, it, was, it was Jeffrey Focalt's idea to have um, some cover songs ready to swing on during okay. our recording session. Mm -hmm. So uh, that was one song I thought might be appropriate just in the line of... Unknown Legend, by the way. Everyone unknown Legend, yeah. Song she's talking about. Thematically sort of fits some of the songs I wrote, and we played it in the session, and it wasn't necessarily going to end up on the album until I listened to it, and it hung with the rest of them real well. So. <laughs> Watching the sun paint a reckless skyline Could be sitting on a front porch with a summer side There's a beacon of some sort Light to galvanize Never have dry land, always have sky Let's walk into the water Took the long way around Heart dry as tender, hardly made a sound now waiting on the answer Hand turned to bright Never have patience Always have time Always have time Always have time I never have patience Always have time Was waiting on my old man Working five to nine Kept looking for a loophole to help him kill the time Dry as any desert, he drank everything inside He never has water, always has wine He always has wine, always has wine He never has water, always has wine trying to create a mood. I think uh, the trying to treat the songs the best 
I, I we could, you know. Um, so each individual song we cut, I think nineteen. Oh wow! And so approaching each song and thinking about what would be best for it was the the mission. And then um, it was a question of how they played together. So I've got a I got an EP coming after. Oh cool! Uh, a brighter, more countrified songs I think <laughs> than what ended up the darker darker blue colored songs ended up on this one. Well, they're great. And <laughs> maybe Nashville inspiring some more of this fun country stuff. You know, actually, I had gone to Nashville the first time, uh, for the first time, right when I got this guitar and this everything started coming together. So I'd say that's in the mix of this record for me. It's a, um, I was pining for Nashville in a lot of ways. Hmm. Mm-hmm. And you've been there since. And February. now I live there. Yeah. yeah. It took me a while, but now I do live there. <laughs> so cool. Mm-hmm. And you, you said you were playing... Playing gigs in town and uh, mm-hmm. and bonding with musicians, grilling out, uh, playing playing with friends. Well, yeah, Nashville is pretty great. Cause a lot of musicians have houses with backyards, so mm-hmm. that means hangs are uh, there's a lot of hangs. They're always happening, and there's always guitars, and it's a spontaneous place for playing music. You don't have to put it in your calendar all the time. Your heart 